what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so talking about halloween ends in this video here again today shout out to halloween daily news really quick because they are the ones who i got this information from they have a video that they posted i'll even link to that in the description uh, so apparently james u courtney was at a convention recently and of course he got asked about halloween ends obviously he was asked certain things like what his favorite scene was in this trilogy and also just went on to expand on some things regarding his last scene he shot with Jamie Lee Curtis and some of the heartfelt things that went into that and probably ended up translating into one of the most powerful scenes we're going to get to see in this movie later this year. So apparently when he was asked about his favorite scene in this David Gordon Green trilogy in this new iteration, this new timeline for Halloween, he stated that I can't tell you anything about it, but my favorite scene is in Halloween Ends. It's absolutely an end. It's powerful and it's beautiful. When y'all see it, you'll understand. That's what I was able to kind of write down as far as the quote that came again from Halloween Daily News. Shout out to you. And hearing that his favorite scene is in Halloween Ends, Obviously, of course, is then going to make me think he's talking about a sequence with Jamie Lee Curtis's character of Laurie Strode. Uh, but then he also back he he also gave me more reason to believe that later with his statements that he expanded on further. He stated that before filming his final encounter or that final scene, I guess, between Michael and Laurie, him and Jamie stepped off to the side to talk before shooting their final scene, and it was very um, it was a very tearful moment for both of them. So. And hearing that there was just tears running down their face really just speaks to me, of course, how big of a moment that is for Jamie Lee Curtis, how big of a moment it is for James U. Courtney, because I don't even know if he is someone who grew up watching her in these Halloween movies. And now here you are in this culmination with her of a character she's been bringing to life for over 40 years, something she's been carrying with her for so many years. And you probably were a fan of that movie. You're involved in this new iteration of, the, of these movies as the thing that she her character rather has been uh, scared of for many years and you're about to wrap it all up with her in hopefully one of the best ways that is a better send off than what we got in resurrection so knowing and understanding that and considering some of that there potentially makes me understand why they might have been crying like that prior to shooting their final sequence especially jamie lee curtis who again is seemingly saying goodbye to someone who she has carried with her since she first did the role in 1978 and again just from james u courtney's perspective if he's someone who grew up watching the original movie and he's someone who has been a fan of this actress you're in a very big moment this is a very big moment for you you grew up to do something that you probably didn't even conceive as a kid you're in the final stages of a final girl character portrayed by a wonderful actress in what is her final role as this character and your final role as michael myers and it's all culminating so i get why it was emotional for both of them but they apparently stepped off off the, to the side talked about it before they got on to do what they did uh and he's again talked about how tearful it was so it just seems like he understands how big it was to jamie who again is same seemingly playing her character for the last time so it seems like what he starts to suggest from this though is that all their emotions prior to filming translates into a very powerful and beautiful sequence in halloween ends where these two just will have us in awe of what we were watching i assume now that's just me going off of again what he apparently stated at this convention it seems like his favorite scene does indeed have to do with the final encounter between michael myers and jamie lee curtis or michael myers and laura Strode, i meant to say so when it comes to that i know we've already been told that there is a kitchen sequence that goes on in the footage that was shown at cinemacon the fact that he didn't say anything about that, not to say that it's not the kitchen sequence, the fact that he didn't say anything about that, though, might be telling, meaning this kitchen sequence could be one of two battles that go on. You have one of, I'll say, pre-show match <laughs> uh, that ends in Lori getting the upper hand, but it's not really the end, of course. And then after that sequence in the kitchen brawl, there's another brawl that happens or something else that's emotional and powerful that happens in the end of the movie regarding Laurie and Michael meeting up for the very final time once again. What is the outcome going to be for that? We'll have to find out when we see the movie in October when it releases. This could also be something that isn't related to a sequence with Laurie. It could be related to something pertaining to Michael himself. And maybe something about that was just very powerful. But him being asked directly what his favorite sequence was, I don't think that his favorite sequence came from shooting a scene with Michael by himself or whoever he's with 
doing something that's just like you know more bloodshed for the for the reason of bloodshed as much as his favorite scene seems to be that final encounter with Laurie Strode with Jamie Lee Curtis especially when considering that he talked about that before they shot their last scene together they both stepped off to the side to have a very heartfelt touching moment where they both cried and shared tears and these tears seemingly translated into a sequence of events that are going to unfold on screen that were very much more heightened by all the emotions running through them at the time not to say that Laurie Strode herself or Michael Myers of course hopefully not are going to be crying during this sequence but you know you take some time to digest what you're about to do you have these emotions boiling up and then coming over tipping over into the surface running down your cheeks like that then you go in there and do what you have to do I would imagine that that led to us to us getting something that's going to be very magical to witness from them obviously of course he's using a lot of uh he's trying to hype it up as much as he can when asked about his favorite sequence he said it's powerful and it's beautiful obviously those are his honest and honest opinions on it but again you can take it as just marketing things things to get you excited which i am excited because i think that that favorite sequence he's talking about that he's stating is from halloween ends is going to be in regards to this battle that goes on between him and laurie strode now how many battles they have that's what i'm not certain of because again i was someone honing in on the fact that well he didn't mention that kitchen brawl that they had at CinemaCon. so is he alluding to the fact that there's another one that's even better than the kitchen brawl that we still haven't seen uh but he said that we'll understand why it's his favorite scene when we see the movie and it'll make sense to us but then him expanding talking about how all of these emotions he had while talking to Lori or jamie prior to shooting their last sequence together as michael and Lori makes me think and convinces me this favorite scene has something to do with michael and Lori coming together for a massive send-off that's a culmination of everything that's been going on for the past 40 years and it's something that's going to be executed very well on screen to get us very emotional but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video